Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to do integration of Selenium WebDriver with JMeter or we can also say how to do client side performance analysis using WebDriver sampler in JMeter. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting so, and I will go very basic step by step. So let's get started and to save some time I have already written down some steps. So step number one is open JMeter. So I will go to my Windows system and I have my JMeter open here. So here is my JMeter and then step number two is we have to add this plugin which is for WebDriver sampler. So we have to add the plugin Selenium WebDriver support. Now if you go to uh, your browser and go to the plugins page of JMeter. So I will go to JMeter plugins and yeah, it's plugins and here is this page for JMeter plugins which is jmeter hash plugins.org and here on this plugins page I can search for Selenium WebDriver or I will just search for WebDriver and you can see here is the Selenium WebDriver support plugin and here are all these different versions so you can get the latest version now the other way is if you have the plugins manager on JMeter you can directly get it so in my case I have this plugins manager here you can also get it from the options and see we have plugins manager here now I already have a separate session on how to get plugins manager I will add the link to that session in the description of this video so you can watch that in case you do not know how to add plugins manager and once you go to plugins manager you can search for WebDriver and you will go to your available plugin section here and then search for WebDriver and you will get this Selenium WebDriver support in my case because I already have added it so I am getting it in the install section and when you go to this plugin you can see the here is some documentation and here we have a link as well so if I go to this documentation link you can see this is the github page for this Selenium WebDriver JMeter plugin and here we have some tutorials as well so you can go here and you can see some documentation here so WebDriver sampler automates the execution and collection of performance metrics on the browser that is client side so a large part of performance testing is on server side on JMeter but here we can also check the client side rendering time for example the HTML5, GSS, CSS all these things are uh, rendered or all these things are executed at the client side or at the browser side so you can check that time using this plugin so this was step number two and here if you are using the plugins manager you will have to select this and then click on here apply changes and restart jmeter and then your jmeter will get started restarted and then you will have this plugin available so let me just close this plugins manager here and now once you have added the plugin the third step is we have to create a test plan and add a thread group so I have a test plan here a new test plan I will right click add and I will add a thread group here and then step number four is this we have to add the config element and we can add any of our browser config and then a sampler so let me just go to the thread group right click and go to add and I will go to config element and here you can see we have all this chrome driver config firefox driver config html unit driver config and all this you will get only after you have added the web driver plugin and restarted jmeter so I am going to add this chrome driver config here and also I will add sampler which is webdriver sampler so let me do a right click add sampler and again I will add a webdriver sampler and this again will be available only once you have added the plugin and restarted jmeter and I will also add listener view results tree so I will right click add listener view results tree so I have added all these three elements and then uh, step number five will be let me just copy this here step number five is we have to download the chrome driver.exe and then provide the location in the chrome driver config for example if your chrome driver exe is here 
in some path you have to copy that path until the name of the chrome driver.exe file and then provide it in the chrome driver config so if you go to your chrome driver config you can see we have proxy chrome and experimental tabs and if you go to chrome tab here you have to give the path to your chrome driver config so you can go to uh, google and search for chrome driver exe download and let us see and yes you will get this website for chrome driver and here you can see what is the latest release and you can download it so if i go here this is the latest release and you can download it for your operating system now in my case i should already be having it because i have been using it in a selenium project so if i go to my desktop and let me just go to some selenium projects i have selenium project here and yes this is here and if i go to the drivers folder i have chrome driver i have kiko driver i have ie driver so i have this chrome driver here let me just copy this location and i will give it in my chrome driver config here and of course as i said we have to give it until the name of the file so i will give it until here let me just copy this name as well and i will provide this entire location here okay that's it so we have done step number five so you have to download in case you do not already have the chrome driver .exe and then provide the path in chrome driver config and then step number six is we have to add scripts in web driver sampler so if i go to web driver sampler you can see here we can add scripts you can see we have scripting language support for javascript java and so on and then we have to add the scripts here and you can see it always starts with sample results dot sample start so here it will start uh, getting the time it will start measuring the time and when you say sample result dot sample end here is it is it will stop measuring the time and between these two statements you can add your selenium scripts so you can see it is saying wds.browser.get and it will can open any of the browsers so for example let me just say here uh, https google.com so it should open the browser and go to google.com it should open a chrome browser and go to google.com so now let us try this uh, let me also save this i'll just save this with some name web driver sampler and save it and let me just try to run this now i will hit on the run button and let us see what happens it opens a chrome browser goes to google.com and closes and you can see in the result we have got this you can see the sample result sampler result the request and the response the response you can view in different formats i can see an html here I can also see uh, HTML download resources and all these formats and here this is how you can use selenium now here until now we have just used a very simple um, statement which is going to a browser and then closing it however if you want to add some more scripts you can make use of your selenium scripts for example if I want to open google.com and let us say I want to write something on the text box and then hit enter so for example I just want to say automation here and then say hit Google search and I should I want to um, copy the scenario or record the scenario here in the scripts and then see the sample time and see the performance so for that you will have to add more scripts now in case you have already used selenium in Java you can see here for example let me go to my eclipse and here are some selenium scripts that i can use also a uh, easy and faster way can be you can go to a plugin a chrome extension which is catalon recorder or you can also go to selenium ide plugin 
now this is a extension that you can just get from for your chrome or firefox you can go to web store in case of chrome and search for catalon recorder here and you should get an option for catalon recorder extension for chrome and yes you can see here is the extension you can add it to your chrome in my case it is already added and you can see here is the icon so i can just go here and it will open the window and i can record a test case i will click on new i will say sample gmeter test and say ok and i will click on this record button and now i will just record my scenario i will go to google.com and put automation in the search box and i can either click on this google search button or i can also press enter i'm en pressing enter on my keyboard and it goes to this search results and you can see it has recorded all these i will stop the recording and now i just have to export it so if i say export and let me say i can either export it in let, let us use java so you can see we have got all these options you can export in c sharp java and then python and so on i'm just using java web driver and basically i need these statements these statements where we are going to google.com and hitting the adding automation in the search box and then hitting the enter key so i will take these statements copy these and go to my web driver sampler and here i'm just trying to i'm just going to paste it here now what you have to do here is you will have to make some changes so the first thing is here instead of driver i will have to use wds.browser so i will just copy this and replace all the drivers with this So this was the first change I have to and then you can also see uh, this by is a class and we have to import it. So if you see in the Java program which is for selenium you can see we are actually importing all this which is org.openq.selenium and I think if we go to the by class it should be org.openqa dot selenium and dot by yes you can see here is the class so this is what we have to use so what we can do is I can actually copy this and here I can just instead of by I will just give the entire import org dot open dot selenium dot by and then this is the name of the search box also you can uh, manually check this so if you go to google.com and if you do a right click on this search box and say inspect you will see here the name is Q you can see here the name of this search box is Q so that is what it is used here and what we are going to do is I'm going to store this in a variable called search box equals this I do not need the clear function so I have found the search box and stored it into a variable called search box and now I can use this I can say search box and then I can say dot send keys like this here and then I can also say search box dot send keys keys dot enter so here we are pressing enter key on our keyboard and we do not need all this then I'll just I can also comment this out so I can also say 
two forward slashes for commenting and here again you see this keys is coming from a library and that I have to give it here like we have given this org open dot selenium so if I search for this on Google I will just say selenium press enter key so I am just trying to get the library of keys that I can give there and here you can see it is coming from org openqa.selenium.keys so again this I will copy from here and instead of giving keys directly I will refer it from this let me just give it here yes org openq.selenium.keys.enter and that's it so this should run our scenario and let us see I will again clear everything and run this and let us see what happens it opens chrome browser goes to google.com searches for automation and yes it is done and everything is fine and you can see we have got all the results here and now if I increase the number of threads for example I say um, three threads here and I will again try to run this let me clear everything and run this again let us see what happens so you can see we have three browser instances getting opened so you can see there are three browser instances and this is running on three browsers so these are three different instances of the browser so this is how we can do it and of course step number seven is run and validate which we have already done so this is step number seven now there are some notes I will also put these notes here and all these uh, data and notes will be available in the description section of this video so in the notes we have webdriver sampler automates the execution and collection of performance metrics on the browser that is client side while using webdriver sampler each thread will have a single browser instance and each browser consumes significant amount of resources so this is limiting in the uh, fact that when you are doing performance test if you are using a uh, web driver sampler like this you may not be able to use uh, a very high number of threads uh, if your system is not able to handle it so this is one of the limiting factors you may not be able to use some threads like 10,000 or something because it will be opening a browser instance for each thread and that will be limiting in terms of resources so you can see what is what exactly you want to test what is the number of threads you want to put and then you can check the client-side performance of your web application so I hope this session was very interesting and very easy and very useful I will meet you in more sessions of JMeter thank you for watching